Well, it's Christmas Day and I'm on the roof of our house. Um, it's a bit windy up here, which is nice because it makes it nice and cool. And you can see the Sierra Madre Mountains over there. Which the sun rises about there where the two nipples are and it'll probably wake us up in the morning when the sun comes peeping over the mountains. And if you look down there look I can't see the, the screen because it's too bright in the sun but as you can see it's the sea and there's a river Right, I expect we'll get downstairs. It's not finished yet, so it's a bit dodgy getting. Look, you can see what it's like. So I'm a bit nervous going down here. And I've got flip flops on. So one trip. And I'll probably end up impaled on one of them bloody scaffolding bars. Yeah. So yeah, I've got to be really careful. Yeah, so that's the roof. Yeah, that's the roof. And then, obviously, like fire escape to the... All that's got to be filled in, by the way. They're just going to put bars up and down it. Anyway, it brings us into the games room. And... I slagged off the... Um, I slagged off the... Uh, company, electric company last night on Facebase and guess what happened today? About 10 o'clock this morning, the electric man came up and connected the electricity. We well, got water now, oh look, no. got water now as well. Because we've got electricity, the pump on the tank is working and uh, that's why we've got water as well. This is the games room and the music room, as you can see, well you'll see later on I've got a video about um, me unboxing these two guitars, um, which I'm glad to made it through the heat and humidity in storage for two years. Oh, I haven't tried out the amplifier yet, I'm going to buy some new strings. Well, I uh, tried to get a billiard table for this, well a pool table for this room and um, I went to this shop downtown, what sold all kinds of musical instruments and, you know, game stuff like that. And I said, have you got a pool table for sale? And they said, yes, we have, sir. I'll go and get it for you. <laughs> so anyway, this young Filipino girl turned up and she turned up with this um, one foot by two foot kiddies pool table. And I said, no, I think I need a bit bigger one. So anyway, that's the uh, music games room, which he's got his own ensuite toilet uh, now here this is number three bedroom see they've all got air cons and not every not all the rooms but some of them have got a little balcony well, it's, and then of course they're all ensuite a nice little shower and a little thingy to wash your bum bum. Yeah, nice shower. Look. Water, we got water. So, so that's number three bedroom. I'll tell the number to turn the light off. And then we've got number two bedroom. Uh, look, oh, that's one that's got a balcony as well, which is rather nice. Yeah. And uh, of course, air condition. And the usual, uh, where you put your clothes and all your stuff and ensuite again. Nice little toilet. And shower. The little thing to wash your bum bum. 
Ja. Und, äh, so that's the number two bedroom. Uh, this is like the upstairs communal area. I expect we'll get a sofa and chairs and table and all that sort of stuff. See, we've got another toilet. So, the, the area upstairs has got ensuite. You know what, we haven't got enough toilets, you know. We've got one in the other bedroom. We've got one in this music games room. We've got one there. There's one downstairs. Um, yeah. This is the view from the balcony. And I think, do you remember when I told you about the land grab? The one of my posts? Well, they're not. See that? See that um, wall there? That's where our land used to end. And that is where it now ends. So you can see how much land that have stolen from us. Yeah, because you don't get any compensation or nothing. They just took it. But we're well placed because we knew about it and we've built our house with the specification that the government wanted. So they've got their bit of land and we're going to have nothing demolished. But having said that, if you see next doors, there look. And if you see there look as well. And further on down, and some of the houses, they're gonna, they're gonna be. Apparently, what they do is they just come along with a bulldozer and they just bulldoze it down and start building, you know, start widening the road, which I think is a bit unfair. So anyway, there's an eagle. I don't know if you can see him. There's a lot of those because of the fish farms there. What they do is they dive bomb the tilapia and steal them. Oh, that's my relative over there, cousin, in his house. You see how much land he's going to lose, look? And it, all the people in the front have got their Madonnas, you know, what they go and, you know, look after that, looks after the house for them. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's a lovely view from the, what do you call it? And as you can see, look, you still see the sea from the first floor. So, that's good. And, right, there's Helen. Oh, okay then. Right, this is the main bedroom, our bedroom. Um, as you can see, we're still in a bit of a shit state because um, we still sort, there's loads of stuff to sort out. We had uh, like 110 boxes to two unbox, and obviously, we, you know, you, you can't like sort, unbox it and then sort it out uh, all at once. Um, you got to be done bit by bit, but we will be moving in soon. This is the, uh, yeah, this, we're the only ones who've got a heater. Ha <laughs> uh, Lovely. What? Oh, okay. Have oh, you still got that cloth? Yeah. Oh, it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, so this is the main number one bedroom and a communal area. Nice balcony look. Another nice balcony there. That'd be nice to sit out there in the, well, it's like summer all the time here. So that's that. These are the nice stairs with the uh, stainless steel dinghy bolts, rails, and this is my mum's bedroom, which is bedroom number four. 
Um, all the same, all on sweet. Nice shower and everything. I don't, I don't know if my mum will come out because she's getting on a bit now. When we mentioned it to her, she kind of changed the subject, so I don't think she wants to come out anymore. But if she does, then uh, this will be her bedroom. And she obviously she'll have a nice balcony and veranda area there, which will be nice. And this is bedroom number five. Aircon. The only thing, the view is not going to be very good for, because that wall there is going to be three meters high. So, it'll be a, mind you, we're going to paint the wall. Might, might paint some giraffes or something like that and on it, and elephants, and you know. The bulk standard shower, ensuite, toilet, thingy to wash your bum bum. Yeah, so that's number bedroom number five. This is garage. Well, it will be a garage one day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's my plan to put some tables and stuff on there and lay out all my tools and stuff because they've got loads of tools. As you, as you can see, work's still ongoing. And, uh, Yep. Got some sort of utility room there, I think. Oh no! Oh no! A toilet! I think we could do with the more toilets. We haven't got enough. But I'm. Um, uh, yeah. A toilet and a sink. Yeah, not bad. And then this is Helen. Helen's area. Washing machine and. Yeah, washing machine. Look at the size of that. Takes you about a load of about three ton, I think. Yeah, anyway, it's all plumbed in now so she can use it. And, oh, yeah, we have to keep the gas thing out there, obviously, because in, in the kitchen, it's got to be away, away from the cooker. What have we got here? Oh, yeah, little utility room. Got all my tools in that store in there for now, but. Yeah, that's out of 110 items, what were packed up, that's the only thing what was damaged. And that was something that must have been stacked on top of our bureau. And it's put a big gouge in it, but it can be repaired. Um, living room, again, nice balcony. Now you can see why we've got that three metre wall so it's nice and private for when we sit out. But this is where the barbecue is going to go and hopefully my pizza oven and pie oven and bread oven. I'm going to get, when I find the right guy I'm getting him to build a proper pizza oven for me. You know which will uh, triple up as other things as well. I'll be able to do all my baking on there because I do quite a lot really. Yeah. Oh, Helen's got a fridge and I wonder if it's on. No, it's not on yet. It's been here now for more than seven hours, so I expect we can plug it in. But um yeah, get it all cooled down. Oh yeah. This is gonna be this is the room for the freezer. The freezer's going in there. Uh, oh. Nice lolly moles. Oh my god. Yeah. It's quite like this. Yeah. Brand new oven and everything. Quite nice. Hob. I don't know if it's working. Oh yeah, it's working. Oh, look at that. Blowing all the dust out. <laughs> uh. This is my little island for doing all my cooking.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, I mentioned this to the builder. I said, look, I want an island because I want somewhere to work and do my food prep and stuff like that. And, and so he built this for me. It's really nice. Nice marble top and everything. Then, uh, yeah. See what I mean? I was telling you about unboxing stuff and then we've got nowhere to put it yet. Well, there you go. All the ornaments and stuff. That's the big air con, which will supposed to cool both these, this, you know, big room. And then, of course, this area has got some air con as well. Um, oh, yeah. This, this little cubby hole was just going to be left with, uh, it, well, it was just going to be able to see the stairs under it. So I said to the builder, look, if you, you're wasting good space there, why don't you build this hell in a nice cubby hole so she could put all her, you know, like her hoovers and what have you. So we built this for Helen. And it's quite big. And, uh, yeah. So Helen's happy with that. I can't show you the blinds because I don't know how to work them, but the blinds, are, every window has got its own blinds and it costs a fortune, and I mean a fortune. There's something, something like two and a half, 250,000 pesos I think for the whole lot to be done, but it's a one-off thing, they'll last the lifetime of the house, well, probably see us out anyway, see me out. So, well that's about it, that concludes, I think. And look, I think I've showed you every area of this house. Bye-bye now.